Onyx HD500 provides complete volumetric filling for aneurysm treatment. Onyx HD500 is FDA approved for the treatment of intracranial saccular sidewall aneurysms that present with a wide neck greater than or equal to 4 millimeters or with a dome to neck ratio less than 2 that are not amenable to treatment with surgical clipping. The following animation is not intended as a substitute for the instructions for use provided with the product. For a complete detail of product description, principle of operation, indications for use, contraindications, and warnings, please refer to the official instructions for use. Onyx is a non-adhesive liquid embolic agent used for the embolization of brain aneurysms. Onyx HD500 is comprised of 20% EVOH, ethylene vinyl alcohol copolymer dissolved in DMSO, dimethyl sulfoxide, and suspended micronized tantalum powder to provide contrast for visualization under fluoroscopy. The Onyx HD500 system consists of a 1.5 milliliter vial of Onyx, a 1.5 milliliter vial of DMSO, a yellow 1 milliliter DMSO syringe, one threaded onyx delivery syringe, and an interface device. The following DMSO-compatible accessory devices are required for use with the Onyx HD500 system. Rebar 14, Hyperform or Hyperglide occlusion balloon systems, and a purple-handled cadence balloon syringe. Prior to injecting onyx, load the onyx heater with four vials of onyx and heat the vials at the preset 70 degrees Celsius for five minutes. After heating, shake the onyx vials for 20 minutes at a setting of 8, then return the vials to the heater for another five minutes. Allow the vials to remain in the heating block until use. Any unused vials can be returned to their original packaging. It is recommended to perform a balloon inflation test prior to usage. In order to inflate the balloon, first hydrate the inner lumen of the catheter with saline flush. Attach the rotating hemostatic valve, RHV, and syringes, including a 1 milliliter purple handled cadence precision injector syringe filled with 50 50 contrast solution. Purge the RHV assembly and balloon. Using the wire introducer, advance the guide wire through the RHV almost to the tip of the balloon and flush the balloon lumen again to ensure that air has been removed. Advance the guide wire past the tip and inflate the balloon using the cadence precision injector. Each tactile click of the injector delivers 0.02 milliliters. Check for bubbles, then deflate the balloon system. Navigate the occlusion balloon in position to optimally bridge the aneurysm neck. Ensure that balloon coverage is extended on each side of the aneurysm. Place the microcatheter tip into the top one-third of the aneurysm sac and confirm the placement of the catheter with a contrast injection. Once both catheters are placed, inflate the balloon. When the balloon is inflated, perform a careful selective injection of contrast through the microcatheter. Record the volume of balloon inflation necessary to seal the aneurysm, then slowly deflate the balloon. Flush 10 milliliters of saline into the catheter to expel any contrast. Aspirate approximately 0.8 milliliters of the supplied DMSO into the yellow 1 milliliter DMSO syringe. Be certain to use only the EV3 yellow 1 milliliter syringe. Aspirate the onyx with a 15 gauge needle, filling almost the entire barrel of the syringe. Pull the plunger back until the unthreaded length is exposed. After aspirating the onyx, slide the plastic clip against the stop. Next, push the plunger until the threads engage. Remove the needle used for aspiration from the tip of the syringe and attach the interface device to the syringe. Expel all of the air out of the syringe Filling the dead space of the interface device, ensuring exactly one milliliter remains in the syringe.
Connect the yellow DMSO syringe to the delivery catheter and inject the DMSO in sufficient volume to fill the catheter dead space at a rate of 0.1 milliliter per minute. The catheter dead space is called out on the catheter package. The dead space of the rebar 14 is 0.27. As soon as the DMSO has been injected into the catheter dead space, remove the DMSO syringe. Overfill and wash the lure hub with the balance of the DMSO, creating a meniscus of DMSO in the catheter hub. Next, attach the interface device to the microcatheter hub, taking care to exclude air. With the balloon deflated, begin to inject onyx to fill the dead space of the catheter. With the interface needle attached, the dead space of the rebar becomes 0.22. Each tactile click of the Cadence Precision Injector syringe delivers 0.02 milliliters of onyx. Inject 0.2 milliliters of onyx into the catheter at a rate of 0.1 milliliters per minute. This will expel the DMSO from the microcatheter and fill the majority of the catheter with onyx. Begin fluoroscopic imaging just prior to displacing the catheter dead space volume at approximately 0.2 milliliters. Wait one minute for the DMSO primer to diffuse away. Reinflate the balloon to the predetermined volume necessary to bridge the aneurysm neck and seal the aneurysm. With the balloon inflated, inject onyx to create a kernel at the tip of the microcatheter. Continue to inject at a maximum rate of 0.1 milliliters per minute for up to two minutes. Allow the balloon to stay inflated for a remainder of three minutes to allow for onyx solidification. Slowly deflate the occlusion balloon to allow distal perfusion. Reinflate the balloon and inject for two minutes, filling the aneurysm sac. Let the onyx solidify for three minutes and then reperfuse. Continue to repeat this cycle until the majority of the aneurysm is filled. Repeated angiographic subtraction enhances onyx visualization throughout the procedure. When the sac of the aneurysm is filled, ensure that the neck is completely sealed off. This may require several cycles of small injections. With the balloon deflated, confirm that the aneurysm is obliterated through angiography. A rotational and 3D angiogram is strongly recommended. When no additional injections will be performed, eliminate any pressure in the microcatheter by aspirating 0.2 milliliters into the onyx syringe. Allow 10 minutes for complete solidification of the onyx. Reinflate the balloon and remove slack from the microcatheter. Pull the catheter from the onyx mass. Once the catheter has successfully been removed, deflate the balloon and remove the balloon system. Onyx HD500 provides complete volumetric filling for aneurysm treatment.